As co-hosts of the 2010 Winter Olympic Games, Vancouver and Whistler are thriving cities known for their winter and summer activities. Discovered by several First Nation tribes, both regions are rich in history. In 1792, the HMS Discovery, captained by George Vancouver, entered Broad Inlet after touring Oregon and Washington's coastline. During the 19th century, Vancouver became known worldwide for its fur trade and gold. Being a waterborne city, Vancouver also took advantage of its ports and geography, becoming a major player in international shipping. Today, the Museum of Vancouver has display highlights of the 20th century for visitors to explore. The European history here has been really interesting and complex. We've used these exhibits to try to tell that in a way that's engaging and that uses artifacts and video and sound and uh, it gives people a real flavour of the different eras in Vancouver. Also Vancouver's Gastown District, named after local publican Jack Gassy Dayton in the late 1800s, has a historic clock and architecture. In 1913, Alex and Myrtle Phillip, originating from Maine, opened the Rainbow Lodge Resort on the shores of Alta Lake. Within a year, the railway line from Vancouver, a 76 mile or 120 kilometre journey, opened. While in 1962, an idea was formed to erect and operate ski lifts on Whistler Mountain. The first actual opening of Garibaldi lifts on Whistler Mountain was a result of the foresight of Norwegian Franz Willemsen who thought it would be an excellent Olympic site. Today, visitors can explore Rainbow Park and see some of the Rainbow Lodge's original buildings. After unsuccessfully bidding for the Winter Olympics in 1968 and 1976, both cities finally won the 2010 bid for Canada.